Welcome back. It actually hurts to smile because I have a cut on the corner of my mouth. Thank you, braces. Today's video is going to be on the new shades of the NYX Liquid Lingerie Lippies. I have them all in this basket, but they're actually in order, so I don't want to mess them up. So I'm just going to show you like a few of them here. I have like one or two shades from the old line, or not the old line, but like the, the older colors that I never swatched. I do already have a swatch video on the very first liquid lipsticks or liquid lingerie lipsticks from NYX and that video is going to be linked down below it's honestly not my favorite video I was uh, really camera shy and stuff so but we're going to be trying the new ones today and I'm sorry if I look like I'm in pain or like I'm struggling I swear to you guys I want to be here I want to do this video my mouth just really hurt we're gonna get started I'm just gonna swatch each one talk about them in between and stuff let's go so i have lippy 01 and this one's actually from the original colors and this one is called honeymoon i never had this one because i could never find it oh also before we get started sorry guys i feel like i'm all over the place but um i have when they sent me these they did send me all of the original ones as well so um, i already have these so i'm going to be doing a giveaway on my instagram with these so make sure you go follow my instagram um, the post might already be up. If not, it will be up soon. First, we have number one called Honeymoon. I'm going to remove what I have on now. I have baby wipes. I have lip scrub. I have lip balm. We are all geared up. Oh, and then I have this e.l.f. Um, li like lipstick remover, and this is amazing at removing lipstick. If you guys have never heard of this, I highly recommend this. I feel like my lips are irritated because... I also recorded, if you guys don't follow my blog, I'm going to link my blog down below. You guys should subscribe to it via email. I believe there's a pop-up when you click on it, or you can find the pop-up on the sidebar, or if you're mobile, you just have to like scroll, scroll, scroll until you find it, and it says get cute email updates from me, and you just put in your email and stuff, and that is a really great way for you guys to keep up with my blog, because I'm going to be posting a lot of content that's not on YouTube on there, like swatches, reviews, all kinds of stuff, so... I would highly recommend you guys follow me on there. I'm also going to be posting like resources, like the fonts I use for stuff like my videos and stuff like that. Um, I did a post on these lip swatches for these Becca lipsticks that I got. And uh, my lips are still a little sore from that because they feel kind of dry. Not a lot because this is liquid lipstick, so I want it to dry down. Like the best of lip swatches, you guys. Bear with me. And I will give you guys close-ups too. The formula seems pretty consistent. The formula is very smooth. It's almost like a moussey formula. It's like fluffy. It feels very soft on the lips. Like sort of blind. Um, I have stigmatism on my eyes and I don't wear contacts. So if you see me like lean in, it's because I'm literally just trying to like be able to see into my mirror. I remember telling you guys in the last one that sometimes you have to go over these twice because um, some of them aren't really that pigmented, but this one is pretty pigmented. I really like this color too. It's really nice. So this is Honeymoon. It felt a little uncomfortable as it was drying, but now that it's dry, it's not sticky. It doesn't crack in between my lip lines or anything. Very comfortable. Very comfortable to wear. So I'm going to zoom you guys in really fast. So here it is a little closer up. I'm actually going to use some of this e.l.f. stuff because this melts away lip colors so easily sorry i'm gonna put my phone on silent now there we go like look guys check this out isn't that amazing like holy crap this elf stuff is so good okay so the next one is color number eight it's called uh, bedtime flirt and I don't think I had this one 
um, in the other one unless I lost it. But I went through and I checked the ones I had in my drawer. But the name sounds really familiar, so if I did, sorry guys, we're swatching it again. I'm pretty sure this is one of the colors from like the first line. Because I think the old or the new colors start at number 10. Okay, I want to lean in to do my Cupid's bow. I feel like they changed the formula. I don't remember the formula being this great, honestly. I think I might change my mind about the applicator because I'm realizing because it has such a fine point, it's easy to line the lips with it. And I don't think I realized that before. So here is Bedtime Flirt. Again, doesn't crack on the lips. I know that looks funny as hell, but yeah. So it doesn't crack on the lips. Very soft. Dries really fast, by the way. Not sticky. I like, I like, I like. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. Here is Bedtime Flirt. This color is so beautiful. It's like a... I don't have anything like this. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. It's like warm. It's like a warm color. A lot of these pink colors that are like this kind of a shade, I guess, are usually more mauve -y. And I just really like this. Next color is Teddy. I also think this one was from the original line, but I think this is another one of those that I just couldn't find or get my hands on. Let's try a Teddy. And Teddy is like a brown. Okay, this is a little patchy. Okay, it evened out. This one went on a little patchy at first, but then eventually I was able to really even it out, so... Here's Teddy. Ooh, I really like this one. You guys know I like my poop colors, so this is a win-win for me. I'm so happy to have this. I need to do a tutorial with this one. What do you guys think? Okay, let's zoom in here. Yeah. So here's a little closer up of Teddy. I feel like my highlight looks like on point. This is BH Cosmetics, by the way. I'm gonna have a whole video review on these because I'm so excited for them. They're so good. It's definitely not warm. It's like a mauve dark brown. Or not dark brown, but you know, brown. Mauve brown. So next we have number 13. And this one's a little scary. It looks very gray. So the name of this one is Scandalous. Yeah, it's definitely scandalous. I'll give it that. Put this on. It looks like a. It looks like stone by Mac, actually. Oh, it looks just like stone by Mac. I feel like all of the darker colors from the Nyx Liquid Lingerie line look patchy when you're applying them, but then you can like build them to where they look even. See. Okay, so here we have Scandalous, which is very scandalous, but very pretty. I really like this. I feel like I can definitely pull off a look with this. Look at how beautiful it is. I'm sorry if you can see some like redness or anything like that because my lips are irritated, but I'm going to give you guys a close-up. So this is definitely a gray color, a stone color. If you have MAC Stone, it's probably very similar, but in a liquid lipstick form. We have color number 14, and this one is called Confident. And it looks like this. Let's put it on. <gasps> this is so beautiful. So this is another, like, purpley brown color, but I think this one's, like, more purple. Like, more of a plum color. The key to these is to definitely get enough product on that applicator if you're like a scaredy cat with it it's not gonna come out even girl I don't feel like I did this application as good as the other ones but here's number 14 
I really like this color a lot. I really like this color selection, to be honest. This is such a beautiful color selection mix. Like, beautiful. And again, the key to these is to definitely not be afraid of the product. Because once it dries, it's very comfortable. It doesn't really feel thick on the lips. Because it's so moussey and lightweight that you can apply, you can get away with applying a little more than you would with like a normal liquid lipstick or like another liquid lipstick. So here we have it. I'm obsessed it's like it's definitely like a, a dark like a muted gray plum color I've never seen a color like this before I don't own anything like this shirt thing is like moving around okay so next I have number 15 and it's called bustier I feel like it's not focusing anyway here it is this looks like a mauve nude pink like a darker mauve nude pink Here is number 15, definitely a cool tone, mauve, medium tone pink. Let me give you guys a close up. So here you guys have it. Okay, this has to be another one of my favorites. I think all of these are going to be my favorite. So far I love all of them, you guys. Love, love. Next I have number 16, this one is called Cheekies, it's a very light color, I definitely think this might be better with lip liner but I don't want to do lip liner because I don't want to take away from the true color of the lipstick so we're just going to put it on and uh, we'll see how it looks. Ooh, <laughs> donut lips. It's a coral, it's like a very coral, very bright color. Definitely gonna wash me out, but we're just gonna do it. This would be very beautiful on fair skin though. I don't know that I would actually wear this one unless it was paired with lip liner or another lip color. This actually looks funny. <laughs> Thumbs down for me. Like, yeah, I would not wear this on its own. Ever. Nope. <laughs> Here we go. Here you go, guys. You close up. Enjoy it. <laughs> I feel like this should be a meme or something. I have number 17. This one's called Seduction. I like, I like that name. Looks like a terracotta color. I'm excited. I love colors like these. Bam. Oh, yeah. Beautiful terracotta color. Apply so evenly, like look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. This already has two thumbs up for me and I'm only halfway through applying it. I am in love. In love. Ah! This, has, this is my favorite one so far. Formula wise, color wise. I like this one a lot. So here we have seduction. And I'm so sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder. It's such a bad habit, you guys. Here you have it. Sorry my makeup is crusty. I've had it on all day. Team, this one is called Cashmere Silk. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so this is like a, a nude. Ooh, pretty. I like how this is so like true to my lip color. I think that this is the closest one to my lip color that are in here. This is really pretty. This has to be the worst application that I've done yet, but really pretty. This one is definitely a true nude. It doesn't have like too much warmth and it doesn't have too much cool undertone. It's kind of like very neutral. I really like that about it. I dig this color a lot. 
this is like a very great everyday color. This is probably the everyday color, like the everyday color. And here you go. Okay, on to the next color. Now we have number 19. This one looks like a very new, uh, warm pale nude. What's going on with this focus point? There we go. Very warm pale nude. And let's try this on. Put it on. There we go again. Me saying let's put it on. Like, duh, we're going to put it on. Like, <laughs> duh. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I would definitely pair this with lip liner or gloss. But it's definitely more wearable than that other really light pasty one. <laughs> this would also look beautiful on fair skin. Definitely need lip liner with this one, but it's still really, really pretty. And the formula is a little, just a little inconsistent. I think it's more consistent than the last formula. It's still a little inconsistent, but that's always going to happen varying between how dark or light the colors are. I feel like it makes my lips look smaller, but that's probably just because it's a very light color. I'm not sure. Okay. Whew, my lips are getting more sore now. We have number 20, and number 20 is called French Maid. Looks like another like dark mauve. This is definitely a purpley color. It's a little lighter than the other purpley color that I showed you guys earlier. I can't remember the name. It's still very pretty though. I would definitely recommend moisturizing your lips because these are a little drying if you don't. And they can settle into your lines. So I definitely always moisturize my lips, but if you don't, you probably should. You guys can be the judge of these. Like, I know some of these are very similar in color. So, you can be the judge of which ones you want to pick if you do decide to buy any of these. Um, I feel like this one is very close to, um, I think it's called, uh, not Petty, but it's very close to Bustier. So, like I said, you guys can be the judge. Let me give you guys a close up. So, here's a close up. Pretty. It's they're very pretty colors. Like these are colors I will always gravitate towards. So here we go. Next we have Delicate Lust, number twenty one, and this one is also a gray nude color. This is very similar to um, um, Scandalous, but I think this one might be a little bit lighter, a little bit warmer as well watch these next to each other for you guys this one and um scandalous next to each other just so you guys can see the difference Here is this one it's it's definitely lighter than scandalous and it has a little like purple hue to it not warm i don't know why i said warm but it does have like a purple hue to it i'm gonna put these they're definitely different so i'm gonna put these side by side stone is more like dark gray so here you guys go comparison that's scandalous and that's number 21 then I'm gonna give you guys a close-up here it is close-up this is so pretty this is definitely more wearable than scandalous by the way just so you guys know on to the next girl you know how they tell you when that fuck boy is in your life and you finally let him go and your friend is like on to the next girl on to the next on to the next lippy this is what i do when i'm alone i'm so terribly weird <laughs> but, but anyway we're gonna go on this one is number 22 it is called silk indulgement and it looks very pink so let's see how this goes uh uh yeah this is like a little, like a slightly darker shade than that other pasty one. It looks so pretty in the tube though. <laughs> somebody please call the lip liner police. Oh look, somebody call the lip liner police. You guys hear it, sirens? Just kidding. I literally live next to a fire station, you guys. Yeah, 
never going to wear this unless I wear lip liner with it. Just being honest. It's a pretty color though. Seriously? I know I asked for the lip liner police, but jeez. Be careful what you wish for. But this would be beautiful on fair skin though. Let me give you guys a close up. Here you guys go. Close up, close up. We have number twin. I just realized this hair has been like poking out the whole time. <laughs> But next we have number 23. We are down to the last two. We have 23 and 24 and that's gonna be it. But this is number 23. It's called After Hours. It looks like a very warm brown. So let's see how it looks because I love brown. Okay, as soon as I put this on, I was like, yes, this is my kind of color. I love this. This looks just like True Brown K by Kylie, except I'm liking this formula more, honestly. Okay, so my phone died, but we are... Did I say my phone? So my camera died, but we are back. And we believe we were on number 23 because we only had two left. And this one is called After Hours. And I have gum in my mouth, and that's really rude. Give me a second. Here we go. <laughs> so here's After Hours. It's a beautiful, rich brown. I'm obsessed. Like, this is so gorgeous. This is definitely a favorite. Let me give you guys a close-up. So here it is. You guys, this is my favorite one. Okay, I know I said the other one was my favorite. This one's my favorite, and then that's my second favorite. Because this one's just right up my alley. And to the last one, we have number 24. And this one is Cabaret Show. The Carberet Show. I don't know how to pronounce that, but here it is. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a nice, like, deep nude. Super pretty. This looks really good with this eye lip. This looks really good with this eye look. I like it. So this is the very last one, Cabaret Show. Whew! I feel like that was a long ass video. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which one's your favorite? Tell me down below which one your favorite is. Let me give you a close-up though before we go. So here is Car Carberet Show. Those were all of the lip colors for the new NYX Liquid Lingerie Lippies. Again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys want to win some new Liquid Lingerie lipsticks. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you stayed until the end, let me know down below which one of the colors was your favorite. Don't forget to check out my blog. It will be linked down below. Alright, I love you guys so much. I will talk to you on the next one. Adios!